Hi, welcome to today's CAD lesson. In today's exercise, we will be modeling this drill bit. Without wasting much time, let's go ahead and begin with today's exercise. We've got our software opened, so let's get our worksheet. New or Control plus N. We will be working in millimeters and to a metric template under part create 2D and 3D object. We select the standard MMIPT and create. We start with a 2D sketch. So let's pick the 2D sketch command up here. And then we would be working on the XY plane. Now let's pick the circle command up here under the create group. We are going to come to the origin and draw a circle here. Using the dynamic input box, we'll specify the diameter of this circle as 6 and press enter. We can finish and extrude or press E straight away on the keyboard to extrude this profile that opens up this dialog box. We need to specify some details. For the input geometry, the profile, it has been correctly selected since we have just one closed profile. And then the plane you should start extruding from is also correctly selected. But the behavior direction, we want to change that to symmetric so that the extrusion is on both sides of our sketch. For the distance of extrusion, we want to change that to 80. And then the body name, we won't change that. We won't also apply a taper. The preview looks good and so we can OK. All right, now on the back face, you can turn this and we will select this back face. We want to create a sketch. Now let me turn this around so we can read the back from the left to the right. You can use these arrows here. Now I would zoom in. Let's go ahead into the rectangle tab and pick the option that says the two point center rectangle. We we'll bring it to the origin here and draw a rectangle such that it goes over the initial circle we drew. This much is fine so you can click. We will pick the dimension command and specify the width of this rectangle as 10. We would enter that and the height also we will change that to 1 mm and check that. We can now finish the sketch and we can extrude. Let's see, the profile to extrude has been correctly selected, but we want the extrusion to go the opposite way. And so under direction, we'll choose the second option that says flip, but we don't want to cut, we want to add material. So Boolean, we are going to choose join. The distance of that extrusion we will change from 80 to 18. The preview looks good and so we can OK. Let me get the isometric view. OK, this looks fine. Now we want to apply some fillets. And so the fillet command, we will change the fillet radius here from 2 mm to 1 mm. And we are going to select these four edges. And so this is going to be the first one. We will select the edge on the opposite side. We will also select the edges here. And there, let me get back the isometric view. Okay, so four edges in all. It says that here. And now we click on the plus sign so we can change the radius to two and also apply it to, let me zoom in, this corner, also this one, this as well, and the opposite side here. You can press OK. Next, we are going to create the fluid. We will do that using the call command. Now, the call command is used to create helical or spiral shapes, such as springs, threads, or coils. It allows us to revolve a 2D profile along a helical path to generate a 3D shape. So let's see how that works. First of all, we are going to create the 2D profile. So we would select this face and create a sketch. Let me zoom in. Okay, now we pick the circle command. Let's draw a circle here of diameter 2 mm. I would enter that then dimension. The distance between the center of the circle and the origin is 2.5. I would enter that and then apply a horizontal constraint to the origin and the center of that circle. You can press escape to get off that command. Now let's pick the line and draw a line here, touching the circle and then also the much bigger circle. 
here okay snapping on to the wrong point so let's just drop it here we would press escape and use the trim command to trim it before we do that let's apply a tangential relationship between the line we just drew and the circle before we trim let's project a geometry which is going to be this circle so we can use it to trim our line up onto that circle we would also dimension the distance between that point right there and the center of this circle as 0 0.5 we would enter that and then let's come here under the arc pick the center point arc from the origin just click let's locate this point right here okay there we are and we would rotate up until this very point here you can right click and then ok would also trim off this part okay so we have what we see here now let's go ahead and finish this sketch and we can call and so the call command here we are going to select let's see we will do this profile right here we want to use the behavior the method pitch and height so if any other thing is selected just drop down this arrow right here and choose the pitch and height the pitch is supposed to be 25 mm the height is 60 mm that is all you have to specify no we also have to specify the axis so for the axis we are going to use the z axis which is right here i'll select that and we see a preview of that that looks good and so we can okay now let's create a circular pattern of this so we get another on the opposite side and so circular pattern the feature we want to pattern we can just select what we just did the rotational axis is also going to be the z axis but the placement we want just two including the one we had already the angle is 360 we can okay now let's work on the tip here we are going to choose the chamfer command for the options, we'll select the second one that says distance and angle. We want the distance to be 2 mm, the angle is 45. It says we should select the face first, so we'll select this face. The edge also, we are going to select this very edge. The preview of that looks good, and so I would apply that. You can close this. Now let's change the appearance of this, and so we will drop down the color options. And then we would select the one that says the gold metal. I would also select, let's see, the circular pattern, hold down the control key, and then also the core. And we will change the appearance of those two to iron gray. All right, we can also change the view and the visual style to realistic. Let's apply some shadows and then also even apply a reflection. And then we can give this the photo booth effect or the photo booth look and you can also include a ground plane if you want okay so this is it for today's tutorial very simple and easy one you can try please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't yet done that also do well to like this video it helps the youtube algorithm push it out to a lot more people who might be interested if you have any comments questions or concerns you can leave them down in the comment section below and i would address them as soon as i can don't forget to save this work also share this with your card friends i'll see you soon in the next tutorial bye